Today we're going to talk about three reasons why you might be topping the golf ball, one reason why you are definitely not topping the golf ball that I guarantee your buddies have told you, and last but not least, a simple thing that you can do in your setup that quite frankly, can almost eliminate the top shot forever. So when we dive into this, the first thing I want to tell you is that you are not topping the golf ball because you're pulling your head up, all right? I guarantee you, if you've ever topped a shot, one of your buddies has said, hey, Jimmy or Paul, you're pulling your head up. That is not causing you to top the golf ball. When you're swinging the golf club, the independent movement of your head up or down has no direct impact on the club moving up or down. Now, should you be looking at the golf ball? Of course you should be looking at the golf ball. We always recommend that. But the movement of your head up or down does not cause that. So let's talk about what actually is causing you to top the golf ball. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we got great information coming out on a regular basis. We love hearing from you too. We love those of you who leave comments, whether you agree or disagree, or you got a question, be sure to put those in the comments. I do my best to answer every single one of them. Now, let's talk about when we top the golf ball, what actually happens. So, when the club is coming down into the golf ball, every, every golf swing has what we call a low point, meaning where the club is at its lowest point. Now, if that low point is too far back and behind, you're going to catch the ball in the upswing, i.e. what we call a topped golf shot. So the key here is getting the low point, where the club is at its lowest point in the swing, at the same spot where the golf ball is at, or hopefully actually a little bit in front of it. So that's what is happening when you top the golf ball. It's not that you're not hitting down on the ball, it's that you're catching the ball as the club is moving in its upward motion. So the biggest reason that we don't hit the ground in the correct spot, in my opinion and in my experience of over 20 years of teaching the game, is because the pressure on the feet, or what you might feel is the weight on your feet, is in the wrong spot. So here's what we tend to see. When somebody tops the golf shot, Let's say they're set in here and they have this good backswing, but when they come in to hit the golf ball, if the majority of their weight, their pressure, is on their trail foot, the bottom of their swing, that low point, is gonna be back and behind the golf ball. So it looks something like this. They're set in here, they got this good setup, they make a nice backswing, but their weight stays back. And of course, you could even hear, I hit the mat behind it, caught the ball on the upswing. It's not that they're in a bad swing, it's that the weight is in the wrong spot. So how would they fix that? Well, if they could just get a little bit more forward in the strike, so if they, when they make their backswing and they can go forward, as you go forward, the bottom of the swing moves forward a little bit, and then that's what allows you to catch the ball on a slight downward strike. So that would be the first tip that I would give you. If you're topping the golf ball, have some awareness of where your weight, where your pressure is at, at the moment of impact. It's best if it's definitely a little bit forward. And as we've tested our tour pros that we work with and a lot of our high level players, what we find is at the moment of impact, man, they've got upwards of 70, 80, 90% of their weight, their pressure on their lead foot at the moment of impact. Now let's talk about the second thing that we see typically when people top the golf ball. It is because their upper body, okay, their upper body is moving down through the strike. So what does it look like? Well, they're set in here. Maybe they got a good back, some whatever, but as they come on their downswing, their, their upper body actually moves down a little bit because it, maybe somebody said, hey, you're supposed to hit down on the ball or keep your head down, very common. So what happens is they move their upper body down and then what and as a byproduct of that they don't want to stick the club into the ground so they start bending their elbows and coming up so it's almost like a counter action so they're here their upper body goes down then they pull their elbows in they get into what we call the chicken wing system so they're down here and then pull it in and boom they start catching the ball in the upswing so the tip that I want you to feel there a little bit of counterintuitive to what you might think is actually as you come through the strike, stay in your posture. Don't be afraid to actually feel like maybe you're getting a little bit taller. You do not want your upper body going down towards the ball because if you do that instinctively, you're gonna start bending your elbows, bringing the club up, and that's gonna change where the club hits the ground and you're gonna be topping it. So that would be the second tip that I would give you. Now the third thing I wanna talk about in terms of why you might be topping the golf ball is simply ball position. Now you remember our earlier conversation where we talked about making sure that our pressure or weight's a little bit forward, all right? But if the ball is just simply in the wrong spot, 
you're going to top it. So as an extreme example, if I'm set in here and I have this ball way forward, maybe where I might have it with a driver, okay, but if it's way too far forward, I'm, even on a great swing, I'm going to be bottoming out back here. And of course, I'm just going to catch the ball in the upswing. So I would say this, if you're topping the golf ball, hey, check your ball position. Maybe the ball is a little bit too far forward. So where should it be on an iron? Well, it should basically be pretty much right in the center of your stance, give or take a little bit. That's where I like to see it. Pretty much off the zipper or like the logo on the shirt, that's about where it should be. And as I mentioned earlier, if you go to greatgolftipsnow.com, we talk about all those things, ball position, uh, loft on the club, drivers, how you swing that, all short game stuff, it's all right there and it's all free and it's something that we provide for you. So that would be the third thing that we have, simple ball position. Now let's talk about how we can take this information and you can play better golf when you head to the golf course. So here's what I want you to do, we know this, we know that we gotta catch the ball we got to get the low point moving forward. we got to get our weight going a little bit forward. So what I want you to do is next time you go to the golf course and you're set in there, feel like you've got a little bit more weight or pressure on your lead foot. Now I like at least 60% on the lead foot for a variety of reasons that we've talked about in a lot of our other videos, all right? But I like that. If you top the ball, I'd feel like you've maybe even got 65 or 70% on that lead foot. And as you make a backswing, feel like you keep some of it on your front foot. Because we know this, if you have more weight on your front foot at impact, you're gonna be less likely to top the golf ball. So that would be the tip that I would give you next time you head to the golf course.